New York City's Chinatown. Today, tourists and locals visit these busy streets, lined with merchants of all sorts. But a century ago, they were lined with blood. So in the mid-19th century, mass immigration occurred in New York City. By the 1880s, the Chinese community here around Mott Street was firmly established and had a lot of legitimate businesses that they were known for, including restaurants and laundromats. But there also were some illicit activities going on here as well, including gambling dens, opium dens, and even prostitution. For instance, at 11 Mott Street, you would find one of the first Chinatown brothels here upstairs. Today, it's just a gift shop. And who took control of these hidden places? The gangs. And they were notorious. In Chinatown, the gangs were known as Tongs. There were two rival Tongs around the 1890s. The An Liang Tong, and the Hip Sing Tong. Now this gang violence between the Tongs would be pretty bloody. In fact, legend has it that one group of Tong members would actually wield hatchets against their foes. And it would be because of that that we would get the phrase hatchet man today. Amongst the violence, one street stood out. Doyer Street. The street's bend made it the perfect place to ambush and attack rival gangs, giving Doyer Street's macabre nickname, Murder Alley. At 5 Doyer Street was a Chinese theater, a Chinese opera house, and for most of its existence, it did host a variety of different kinds of performances. But in 1905, there was another more bloody performance. Within the theater, members of the Hip Sing Tong ambushed members of their rival gang, the An Liang Tong, killing four people and igniting a war that would last almost until 1910. Today, the opera house is a clothing store one of many businesses found on a much tamer Doyer Street. Doyer Street today is a far cry from what it was over a hundred years ago. It still has some vestiges of old Chinatown, but you're more likely to get a nice cup of tea there or get a really good haircut. For modern residents and visitors, the merchants of Doyer Street serve a variety of goods. But a hundred years ago, this street's main export was murder. <laughs> 